All right, so talk a little bit now about the the Hun Yuan. Terrible. My apologies to the Mandarin language um, <laughs> for that horrible pronunciation. Um, the the beginning posture. So it's one of those ones that you don't want to overlook um, because it, it really helps build the larger practice around it. It's kind of like that, that keystone. Um, so you, you really want to have the knees and toes facing forward and a comfortable shoulder width between the feet. Um, so I'm, I'm not dock footed, I'm not pigeon toed, but my knees and toes are in relatively perfect alignment. Um, with my hips, my shoulders, and my line of sight. Um, and so what, what we don't want to have happen when we begin our practice and our movement, whatever drills that we happen to be doing, is, is carrying physical tension into the movement. We don't want to be thinking about the move that we're going to do and subconsciously priming our body to, to start being active and start moving because we already have a bit of built up physical tension and we carry it into some drill, then we're not going to be getting the benefit of the movement because it's going to be making our body more tense or at least stay the same level of tension through the whole thing when a lot of the you know day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week practice is actually trying to release or uh, minimize, reduce the tension. That's really a big component of this, this starting posture. Um, so yeah, knees and toes forward and nice and relaxed. And so you want to feel the weight of the body stacking up as it goes. And it's being held there by the skeletal structure, not through the muscles and tendons, um, sort of trying to suspend and, and keep that weight, you know, in balance and in, in alignment and all that kind of stuff. That's the job of the skeleton. So we want the skeleton to be doing it. So um, shin bones over top of the ankles, uh, femurs over top of the shin bones, hips just sitting nice and comfortably right on top of the, the top of the femur in the hip socket. And then the lower back, nice and relaxed and, and you know, not too much of the pelvic tilt going on. You don't have that sway back happening, just skeleton supporting the body and as much relaxation through the core as, as we can find. And same with you know the with the legs, same with the arms, same with the chest, and then the spine. And so again, you want to feel the front line of the of the torso relaxing. So oh, an easy way to check in with that is if you get your hand right on your belly there, sort of the upper belly, um, thumb kind of reaching, it can touch the it's a little bit different for everyone's different proportions, but the tip of the thumb touching the bottom of the solar plexus there, um, where you kind of feel that diaphragm and all that sort of connection there, the soft tissue. And then the fingertips and the heel of the palm are on either side of the rib cage. And then if you just kind of run the hand down to get it in that position, you want to feel that front line relax. So a good cue is to not have these floating ribs here angled upwards, like you're standing to attention. You don't want that. You want relaxation through the front line. And so just smooth uh, length through through that front line there. And then the shoulders, once you're sort of in that position, should sit kind of right on top of those upper ribs, you know, up in here. So again, they're, the, they're being supported there. I don't need tension in my trapezius through that clavicle area or in the deltoid muscles of the upper pectorals at all to hold my arms up. I want gravity to be pulling them towards the floor. And then you just want to check in and feel, can I feel the upper arm, the weight of the upper arm, the humerus, bicep, the tricep, pulling on the shoulder socket and pulling it kind of open, creating a bit of space in there. And the same with the forearm. Can I feel the weight of the forearm and the hand pulling on the elbow joint and just kind of opening it up a little bit. And then same with the hand. Can I feel the weight of the hand kind of pulling on the wrist and opening up, relaxing the wrist a little bit. 
Now it's different for the legs because they're in contact with the floor, but it's the same idea. Can I feel that all the weight of all the big muscle groups and all those heavy bones pushing down into the floor, into my heels and into the floor below them and just relaxing and reducing all that weight and tension. And again, we're not thinking about the movement that we're gonna do next, priming ourselves to move and creating muscular tension. We wanna feel just the sort of the true weight of the limbs extending and pulling and, and um, opening and relaxing the joints and the, the tendons and the muscles and all that. And then last but not least, we just want to have the neck relatively straight, the crown of the skull and the skull itself sitting roughly right on top of the neck. And then with this posture, we're in sort of a good neutral starting position to begin whatever drills or forms or whatever it might be that we're practicing in that given practice on a given day and whatnot. So that's the, the beginning posture, the, the Hun Yuan.